as you can see here is SR square one cloud book sorry the problem with this machine after reinstall the Windows 10 Pro the touchpad is not working this is no longer active even I have installed the touchpad driver long time ago as I can remember I had similar problem with similar sort of notebook and I played a trick and it was working back again so today experimentally we're gonna check if you do the same thing on it if the touchpad get fixed to itself okay so I'm turning on first I'm gonna show you that touchpad is not working and then I will show you how to resolve this issue hopefully it would be fixed in the same way so starting on it has only 2 GB RAM that's why very slow so let's check So as you can see on the screen there is no clearly if you look at it there is no any mouse cursor on it okay as you can see nothing is happening because might be let's say it is disabled if it was disabled it should be turned on but nothing is happening so we're gonna play the same rule what I done years ago in the different laptop okay so first what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn it off press and hold we will take out it apart open Oh. all of them same inside so you don't have to care about organizing <laughs> all right take a flash tool I just want to check sometimes what they do that has the screw behind the pad no there is no screw so it's fine and uh, open it good green good brilliant yeah plastic shell came out okay fine so now close it back disconnect the internal battery by pulling out this cable disconnect it now we need to disconnect the touchpad and reconnect back again okay so let's take out this first Yes. All right. 
what we're gonna do we're gonna disconnect the touchpad connector okay and let's see if there is any static electricity left so what you're gonna do we're gonna press the power button Put it back. Brilliant. Good. This is back now. We connect the battery and let's check if you are lucky. So, I'm not going to put the back cover on until I check. Turning on now. Okay. So because of we taken out the battery, there is something happened. That says the boot type is changed to legacy boot. Type EFI boot by another tools. Do you want to change? No. So as you can see now, it is working, okay. There is some explanation, but to be honest, I don't know why it happened. It happened, this is the third time now, now okay. So I thought, let's make the video and see if this procedure is the reason, so then it's going to be fixed. So now the touchpad is working absolutely brilliant, okay guys. So if you get any problem with Acer Aspire 1 Cloudbook 14 or Acer Aspire 1 another brand, okay, you can try this way and might be your one would be fixed. So thank you so much for watching and bye for now.